Welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. It's myself, AGT, and I'm outside with my good friend, Patrick Mack, the CEO of Soccer X, a great convention. I can vouch for it. I was there in Amsterdam in May, big Liverpool fan. When I met this fella, plus he's a Londoner, we just clicked, didn't we? We did, we did. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you as well, my bro. Listen, 5-1, you've yeah. come up and you've witnessed a great one tonight. It was 5-1 against uh, West Ham in this cup last year. Um, and it didn't start off great as it hasn't in the last three games when you count the early Bournemouth offside goal and the Milan uh, goal as well. It was an own goal, so technically we scored six tonight. But in the end, we were it was fine. We weren't to worry at all. But going down early again, I mean, it's that same old feeling, isn't it? We're going to have to do this the long way again. Yeah, a little bit. I think I'm maybe a bit more flexible tonight because of how many changes there were. So you expect it to be a little bit more disjointed and difficult to get the patterns going. But I thought, like you said, once we got past the first 20 or 30 minutes, it was a bit better. Second half was brilliant. I think with that many changes to come away 5-1 is uh, makes the trip worth it. Yeah, even though there were so many changes, I think Liverpool are clearly still the favourites tonight. Even with Gomez coming in, captain tonight, I think it's well deserved. Big him up. Love Joey, Joey G. Um, Quanta, obviously... That means that Virgil rested, Canate rested, Diaz rested, Ryan Gravenberch rested, you know, Sobosly rested. The, what does that say about the depth in this squad? To, to play against the West Ham team who, listen, they've started pants in all competitions, yeah. really. But at the same time, the depth that we've got, mate, I think it's actually underrated, the depth that we've got. 100%. Um, I wasn't in the panicking crowd in the summer. Would have liked to have maybe seen one more for, for depth in the middle because I think one or two injuries could see a bit of an issue. But yeah, the depth is way better than people think it is. Um, we've changed practically the whole team tonight and beat a, a pretty strong West Ham side. And like you say, they haven't started very well. But I did think when I saw the lineup, I thought, well, they've come strong thinking we might rest a few. We did, and they still weren't very good. Um, and we were. I know so. that's your neck of the woods <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, I might say that quietly on the train journey home. Yeah, yeah. listen, oh, crazy, but. Listen, uh, Jota gets two, you know, really clever finishes. The first one, Chiesa kind of, I don't know if it was probably a shot, but it's, it's a cross goal, he heads it in. The second one after half time, really smooth finish. And then Salah comes on, we start flexing our muscles, they get a man sent off, and then Gakpo scores two. Yeah. I mean, that's the second half of 4 0. Yeah, really good. Um, happy. I think um, Jota needed that as well, needed a couple of goals after three yeah, games yeah. without one. Um, nice to see everybody get a rest. Diaz, who's on fire. Gakpo coming in, I, I, who I love now. Uh, it took me a while to warm to him, but I think he's showing a sign of being a really good player. And we look like we have two very good players for every position, which is a, a, a nice situation to be in, I think. Yeah, I mean, Gakpo, he's in that boat where he's fighting for minutes, but he also understands the form of Luis Diaz, who starts in his position that he'd like to start in. I mean, it's such a good headache to have. We, we obviously didn't have case of last season but they weren't all firing last season but it does seem this season I know uh, Nunes has only scored one but very good numbers in terms of assists and goals from our strikers is that what is going to win us a Carabao Cup could we I mean listen we're all hopeful of winning more trophies you know as the years roll on but can we win this trophy yeah I don't see why not I think it's the current holders holders it's, it's the shortest journey and I think, as we've shown tonight, if we get a favourable run in terms of draws, I think, why not? And we're good at I Wembley, right? I feel like right? the draw might be out already. Yeah, do we yeah. know any... Does it, do we know the draw yet? Who have we got? Do we know who we've got in the cup? Yeah, uh, Liverpool, Liverpool to visit Brighton. Oh, we'll take that. That's, a, that's almost a home it's a tough draw game, mate. Tough um, game. But I know the CEO there quite well, so it's easy oh, to get tickets. That's me and tickets. <laughs> oh, you said that on camera, haven't you? Did, so that's yeah, tickets yeah. for me and you yeah. in the box then. How you doing, Paul? I'll give you a bell tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brighton in the next round. Tough, tough, tough. But yeah. at the end of the day, if you're going to win to uh, trophies like this, they're the kind of games you have to win. I mean, they knocked us out of the cup a, few, a couple of years ago in the FA Cup. So, But overall, you must be happy with tonight. 5-1, we're into the next round. Yep. Two wins in a row after a setback as well. Yeah, really pleased. Um, Looking forward to the long journey home tomorrow, but a couple of beers tonight now to celebrate and um, maybe some Chinese or something on the way back. Shout out Sing Fong as Shout well. Shout out Sing Fong. Pat, Thank you. big man. Appreciate Thank it. you very much, mate. We'll see you soon. Take care. Hopefully in Miami. See you in Miami. Take in care. All the best, people. Take care.